I'm going to show you a few different ways to undo changes in Git. So we're going to use Git checkout, Git revert, and Git reset. You've got to use reset carefully, as this will actually end up deleting commits from your repository. So bear that in mind uh, and have a go at the other two methods first. Um, and, and we'll start off with Git re revert. Uh, and what I've got here, if we look at our Git log, uh, it's a simple repository. There's three commits, uh, and each of those commits is it's when I've added these uh, these h1, h2, or h3 tags into this file. So to start off with, let's say that we wanted to remove this commit from our repository, just this one in the middle here, not the other ones, not the ones before it, or, or the ones after, just get rid of the h2 tag, so we're left with the h1 and the h3 tag. This is when we can use the git revert uh, command. So it's pretty straightforward. We just do git revert, uh, and then we put in the name of our commit, so 79A1, uh, and that's just from here. Uh, and then when we hit enter, you'll see that it comes up with this little text file here, uh, and it's just saying that this revert will commit this, uh, uh, will create a new commit, uh, and this will be the commit message up here. Uh, and then this is what it does. It's going to reverse this commit. Um, revert, sorry, not reverse. Uh, so if we want to exit this, we can just do colon and then followed by Q to quit. Uh, and then if we look at our git log, you can see that there's now a new commit which says revert add h2. So what we should see in this file now is just the h1 and the h3 tag. So let's check. And yeah, that is the case. So that's what you can do with the uh, git revert tag, uh, the command, sorry. Um, so the next one that we could use is git checkout. Uh, and instead of just removing a single commit like we did with revert, what git checkout will do, it's allowing us to go back in time and says, well, what did the code look like at this point in time? And let's just go back to exactly what it looked like then rather than removing it. So let's do the same thing, but git checkout. And we'll do the same, uh, the same one again, so 79A1. Um, and at this point, you've got to specify which file. So you could do mypage.txt, or if you want to specify the whole folder, just do a dot. Uh, and, and this works slightly differently now. So if we look in my page, we've actually got the h1 and the h2 tag. And that's because at this commit, we had the h1 and the h2 tag in there. We didn't, the difference between the revert and the uh, checkout is that revert is almost like a negation. So we want to get rid of this commit. Whereas when we check out, we're saying, let's go back to this commit instead. So in order to save our changes, this one hasn't committed it for us automatically. And we can see that using git status. It says that it's been modified. So let's make a commit uh, and let's say, uh, let's put in a message, go back, not got back, go back uh, to add h2. And if we just look at our git status, sorry, our git log this time, we can see that we've now got uh, a new commit here, which says go back to add h2. And as you saw previously, now we're back to what our code looked like uh, at this commit here. So those are the two main methods I would recommend that you use. There is a third method, uh, and this involves deleting commits. So the, this is using git reset. And there's three different tags that you can use with git reset. So you can do git reset and then you can put the following tags. You can either put hard and what hard will do is that this will uh, unstage and delete all of the changes. Uh, if we use the mixed tag, this will uh, still uncommit all of our commits, uh, but it will leave our changes in an unstaged area. And if we decide actually we want to keep our changes staged, uh, you can use the soft tag. So those are the three different tags that you can use. Uh, use them depending on what you want to do. Um, use the hard one cautiously, and I'll show you what happens if we use the hard tag. So if we did git reset hard, uh, so currently this is what our, our file looks like. We've got h1 and h2. But if we did, uh, let's go back to our first commit, which is this one here, 615. If we did git reset hard and then 615, what you're going to see is actually, um, if we look at our git log now, it's actually deleted all of our commits. We've only got one commit now, and we can't get back to all of our old commits. They're just gone for good. So you do have to use this one carefully. 
and you can see that if we look at our page we've only got our h1 tag and there's no real way of getting back our old ones so that's why i say don't really use this one unless you have to uh, use the other ones because if you do make a mistake at least you can go back uh, and, and you know fix whatever issues you might have so you know that's how you can undo mistakes and go back to previous commits in git uh, feel free to ask any questions if I've missed something uh, or if you're having problems doing this, then feel free to ask below. But otherwise, thanks for watching.